Hello, in this video, we're going to solve this differential equation. This is actually called an initial value problem because we have a differential equation here together with this condition here, which is called an initial condition. So the idea is that we solve this differential equation and our answer is some unknown function, which is y. And then we use this condition, y of one equals two, in order to find the unknown constant that we get in our solution. Let's just go ahead and work through it, solution. So let's start by rewriting this in a way that is a little bit more friendly. Whenever you have a prime like this in a differential equation, um, sometimes it's a good idea to write it like this. You can write this as dy dt is equal to t over y. All right, so now what we can do is we can separate the variables. We want to get all of the y's together on one side and all of the t's together on one side, together with the dy and the dt respectively. So we can use cross multiplication here. So we get y times dy equals, and then t times dt. And now we have all of the y's together on one side with the dy and all of the t's together on one side with the dt. So now we can integrate both sides. So we integrate and integrate, and these are super easy integrals. There's a one here on each of the exponents. So you just use the power rule. The power rule says you add one to the exponent and divide by the result. So this will be y squared over two equals t squared over two, plus our constant of integration capital C. That's a really weird two. There we go, two. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and use our initial condition, which is y of one equals two. This means that when y is equal to two, t is equal to one, or when t is equal to one, y is equal to two. So that's what this is saying. So we're gonna plug those numbers into this equation and solve for the value of c. So instead of y, we have two. So it's two squared over two equals and t is one, so this is one squared over two, and then we have our constant, capital C. All right, two squared is four, so this is four over two, and this is equal to one over two, plus our constant, capital C. Four over two is two, so we get two equals one half plus C. And if you solve for C, you would subtract uh, one half from both sides, and you would get two minus one half. You can think of two as four halves, so four halves minus one half is three halves. So C is equal to three halves. So now that we have the value of C, we can plug it back into our solution and we'll be done. So we have Y squared over two equals T squared over two, plus three over two. And I really want to clean this up, so let's do it. <laughs> You're probably thinking, what's with all the twos? Just multiply both sides by two and we can get rid of all of these twos. So we get y squared equals t squared plus three. And that would be the answer to this problem. This would be the solution to the initial value problem. I hope this video has helped someone out there in the world who is studying mathematics. Good luck.